I shall select a great skyscraper at random. And at the busiest time of the day, level it. <laughs> It was a doomsday machine. Stand by to reprogram target. together that I've been promising you for months. Mm. <sighs> Hello? Give me Casey, it's urgent. It's for you. It's a man who says it's urgent. You're kidding for me? Yeah, Casey here. If you value Leonard Driscoll's life and career, you'll do exactly as I say. <laughs> who is this? How'd you get this number? Let's say I'm someone as interested in your director's welfare as I know you to be. Well, who is this? I need a name. No, you just need a place. The deserted building in Industrial Square will be there in half an hour. Look. Hello? Hello? Who was it? I don't know. some crank, probably. No. Two minutes. No, uh-uh. Not this time, Charlie Brown. You're not leaving. That's one broken promise too many. Sam? Aha, the fire escape. Sam, you'll fall and break your neck! Demonstration. Please note vacant building. Demonstration. 
Mission completed. 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 Anything like that, Sam? Yep, that's it. Almost exactly, Leonard. Carl Victor and his Minotaur. Minotaur? It was officially labeled the A-73, designed to be a purely defensive surveillance system. Right, who's Carl Victor? He was the man in charge of Intersex Bureau of Technological Development. I fired him five days ago. Why? For a $40 million cost override secretly transferring the A-73 into an offensive weapon, but one so uncontrollable that even the Pentagon wanted it scrubbed. He boasted it was the ultimate weapon, but we feared it was a doomsday machine. Well, morning after I fired him, he and the A-73 disappeared. Disappeared? Leonard, it sounds like you better find this thing fast. You think we haven't tried? I've had our agent scouring the city for the past five days. He seemed to have just vanished. That's the problem. Mr. Driscoll, this came for you very early this morning. I didn't know you were in yet. It's marked urgent for Mr. Driscoll's eyes only. Oh, thank you. Who delivered it, by the way? A boy from the Merchant Messenger Service. Videotape. Good morning, Leonard. I'm sure by now your young hotshot has filled you in on what happened last night. Real blast, wasn't it, Casey? <laughs> well, now that you realize the capabilities of Minotaur, Leonard, aren't you sorry that you fired me and scrubbed my projects? But I'm the one giving the orders now. And here are my terms. First, you will call off your bloodhounds. I know they don't have one chance in a thousand of finding me, but I don't even want to give you those odds. Secondly, you will tell the Secretary of Defense. Oh, I know all about his appointment at Intersect today at five o'clock. How does it feel to have your communication system tapped for a change, Mr. Snoop? You will tell the Secretary that I want half a billion dollars in cash continue my experiments in my secret laboratory. The one I was building all those months, I sensed your resentment and envy, Leonard. Well, that's where the 40 million went. And I want that money delivered within 12 hours at a place I shall designate at 5 o'clock today. Now, I know that for a weak-willed man like yourself, you have to be prodded into action, so uh, let me tell you that if you do not meet the schedule, I shall select a great skyscraper at random, and at the busiest time of the day, level it. I shall level it, Leonard. But I'm sure that the secretary will cheerfully comply with my demands. After all, the Minotaur gives our country the balance of terror that it needs. Uh, I'll be in touch then at uh, five o'clock. Until then, have a nice day. Would he really do it? Blow up a skyscraper? I know he would. Give me security. Security, I want the search for Carl Victor intensified. Lay on every man you have. Give me Major Twilling in the Pentagon. Twilling! No, I don't want the meeting with the Secretary cancelled. On the contrary. Oh, he's en route. Leonard. What? Do you mind if I try a hunch of my own? No, 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 no. Anything. Okay, I'll contact him on the plane. Ah, here it is. To intersect, rush. She signed on the bottom line. What does Janet Jerzyk look like? Blonde, pretty, young, about 25, well-dressed. Even chic, I'd say. Mind if I keep this? Sure. Thanks.
No Janet Jerzyk, which is probably a phony anyway, Sam. But according to our computerized records, there were six women close to Carl Victor who fit the description. Lab assistants, two secretaries, a friend in personnel, and his daughter. Personnel supplied the signatures of the employees, but none of the signatures has the handwriting characteristics of your Janet Jerzyk's. And you don't have the daughter's signature on record? No. What about an address? Uh, yes. Nancy Victor, Avant Garde Art Galleries, 6784 La Cienega, Los Angeles. Victor? Yes. I've got a package for you. If you would, just uh, sign for me right down there. By the way, how's your father? You know my father? Oh, yeah. I delivered a package to his house once. He invited me in for a beer. It's a good dude. Thank you. Tell him hello next time you see him. Oh, that's not likely. He left the country yesterday. Nancy Victor, alias Janet Jerzyk, delivered that tape to Mercury's office. All right, good. Abby, brief Leonard for me. Where are you going? You remember playing hide and seek when you were a kid? Well, I'm going to play it with Nancy Victor. I'm on guard. Miss Victor, don't talk, just listen. Who is this? The guy from the messenger service that knows your dad, remember? Yes. The cops are here asking questions about your father. They're talking about tracing some package that got delivered to a place called Intersect. I just thought you'd like to know that. Thank you very much. Hey, it's my pleasure, Miss Victor. Bye-bye. couple of turkeys sneaking out of the alley back there, and they put a stereo and a TV set in the truck. Okay, thanks a lot. license, ma'am. What's the problem, officer? A citizen reported seeing two suspicious-looking men placing possible stolen merchandise in the truck of your car. That's ridiculous. Here! Check for yourself. Would you step out of the car, please, ma'am? Are you satisfied? I'm sorry, ma'am. Thank you.
Lucy. What a pleasant surprise. I had to come. The police are looking for you. That messenger boy you know called and warned me. What messenger boy? From a delivery service. The, the one you gave a beer to that time he delivered a package to you. There's no one from any delivery sir. Nancy, my dear, I'm afraid you've been had. It was obviously an intersect agent. They were just trying to frighten you into running to me so that they could follow you. No, I was very careful. Nobody followed. Well, I certainly hope so. But you know, ever since the war cooks have taken over at Intersect, they, they're very good at this kind of uh, underhanded operation. tape I delivered to the messenger service. A warning to end the arms race. A plea to call a conference for world peace. Dad, I'm so proud of you. Where's the intruder? Out of visual sensor. Light refraction deflected. What? Clarify. Computing problem. Whose voice is that? What problem? Computing. Computing. Input. Infrared. signal is scrambled. I'm getting no information. Reprogram for standard surveillance signal. Affirmative. Affirmative. We'll deploy infrared when necessary. Intruder. There is no intruder. Negative. I compute intruder. Intruder.
Casey, to intersect. Casey, to intersect. Driscoll here. Come in, Sam. Ah, uh, Leonard, I found the Minotaur. Or I should say the Minotaur found me. I can outrun him, Leonard. But I don't know how long I can last. I'm nearly exhausted now. Where, Sam? Tell us where. Okay, I'm east of the city. Sam, someone's jamming your transmission. We're, oh, we're getting a static. Yeah, I'm getting static too here, Leonard. Sam? See no intruder. Intruder. Light reflection data altered. What does that mean? I'm afraid it just means there's been a mechanical failure, that's all. Your data erroneous. Return to control room for repair. Not erroneous. Some data missing. We'll correct problem. There is an intruder. and a hotshot young agent. Come with me. Secretary? Just what is the status of the situation now, Leonard? No better, I'm afraid. Here, let me show you these. Don't tell me you spent $40 million on this. You must be keeping a couple of girls on the side, Victor. Dad, that's him, the one who posed as the messenger. And what have you been posing as, Miss Jerzyk? All right, Casey, that's enough. I'm sure by now you've informed Driscoll as to my whereabouts, idiot that you are. So I'll just have to move up the time schedule a little. Wait a minute, Driscoll knows nothing about this. Your electronic pile of junk out there blew out my transmitter. Don't believe him, Dad. Look, I've been running around this rat maze of yours for over two hours. Don't you think if Driscoll knew where I was, that he'd have done something about it by now? Huh? He does make sense, dear. You know something, Casey? I believe you. Hoorah. Danger. 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 What danger? 
Intruder in control? No, no danger. Danger. Have assimilated data. Can neutralize by close proximity. Your data faulty. Continue on your patrol. Minotaur data correct. Ted, it, it's arguing with you. Nonsense. Continue patrol. Miss Victor, do you have any idea what this thing is? What? It's, uh, it's part of Dad's security system. No, it's a robot. And it packs enough power to level a skyscraper with one little electronic beep. Shut up, Casey. Enough's enough. You're right, enough is enough. So why don't we just cut the nonsense, all right? You're under arrest, Victor. I'm taking you back to Intersect for questioning. <laughs> you marvelous, Casey. You forget. I am the one holding this, remember? Okay. I'm not worried about the gun. It's just that I don't think you're very well, and I don't want to have to hurt you to get it, so please. Just give it to me, and we'll leave quietly, all right? Oh, beautiful. Such bravado. Please, I don't want to have to take it. Go ahead. Take it. Okay. Is that it? I think he's trying to activate his Buck Rogers ray gun, dear. Problem computed. DNA molecular structure of intruder is stabilized. I don't believe I've been done in by a tin man. I don't compute your data. Explain. Intruder neutralized. Neutralized? I think Minotaur has assimilated some data about Casey I don't have yet. Close proximity required. What's the matter, Casey? Your Buck Rogers ray gun backfire on you, did it? Yeah, that must be it. You just tell your boss about it, huh? Go ahead, take it. And while you're at it, ask if money's ready. Money? Go right ahead. It's already patched directly into Intersect. And security's covering the entire area. Casey to Intersect. Casey to Intersect. Sam! Leonard. Leonard, I'm in Carl Victor's laboratory. No locations, please. Leonard, he wants me to ask you, when will the money be ready? Sam, are you all right? Negative, Leonard. I feel groggy. My IV doesn't work. My DNA is malfunctioning. What's that? What does that mean? Listen, Leonard, the laboratory is a... Sam? Sam! Stabilizer's malfunctioning. All right, Casey. That's it. Over there! Move! Got him. And if he moves, eliminate. If moves, eliminate. me to take immediate action. I am choosing a new target and a new deadline. Out. Dad, what are you doing? Don't interfere, Nancy. Force is the only thing they understand. Dad, stop it! Get away from me now! Dad! Yes. OK. 
Okay. I think there's a way we can get out of here. How? Yes? If you make it, where will you go? Right, there's a storeroom. Yes, I know it. Try to follow the moving belt. your mother. Someday I'd make our little girl a very rich woman. Huh? Proximity, the tin man said. Proximity. Danger. Danger. Molecular structure unstabilized. What? Danger. Danger. Intruder. Negative light refraction. Maintain position for target exercise! Danger. Danger. Return! Return for programming of target! Negative. Intruder. Non-visibility. Danger. Danger. and then destroy the building. I don't know why, but suddenly that horrible thing went out after you. Yeah, I think I know why. Come on, I know the way out of here. I can't, Nancy. Look, the second we leave here, Minotaur's gonna turn to your dad, and it's all over for Intercept. Nancy, do you know where the generating room is in this building? Yes, this is a map. 
right. I want to lure Minotaur there. Why? Well, because I got a score to settle with that pile of ten. Look, he neutralized me once, and I think maybe if I can get him down to the generating room, maybe I can neutralize him. Ready? Okay. Go. Target sighted. Target sighted. Turn this water on and let it run around the floor. What for? Never mind, just do it! Return to control. Return to control. Negative. Negative. Intruders. Uh, hey, Nance, give me a hand with this. No, never mind. Get the bucket. I'll get this. Here, take that. Okay. Nancy, what I want you to do, take this stuff, tear it up into little pieces, and put it in that bucket. You to circle back to the control room and find your father. All right, come on, go on. Sam, go on, get out of here.
Dad. Dad. Wait a minute. Hold it, hold it. Let her handle it, okay? Kind of flipped out. Minotaur became his master. Maybe one day we... I'll tell you what, maybe one day I'll come by the store. And you can sell me a picture. Okay. okay. Leonard? How do I explain this to the government? Well, you can always blame it on me, Leonard. Tell them I had an unusually large expense account this month. Sam, I'm serious. I'm serious too, Leonard. I mean, after all, I spent $9.50 on gas. $32 on lunches. Uh, let me see. $69.50 for that blonde Ford agent I took out. $16 for pizza. $49. 